Hello everyone and welcome back to Next Level Tips. So I have some great news for you today. All right. Um, here's the great news. The great news is that since we all have to wear masks and we all love Johnny and want to show our support, I designed this so that I could wear this all over town. You see this? This is my Johnny Depp mask that I designed. I also designed this sweatshirt. Isn't that totally cool? I love it. It's sexy, sexy. So you can get both of these down there where my link is for my Teespring store. Now, I'm going to describe to you only because it's easier to see. Isn't this gorgeous? Oh, I love it. I love it. I'm going to wear this all over town. You guys, you got to get yourself on. It is so cute. And you can wear them all over town. It comes in two colors. Or you can get your sexy sweatshirt. Yay! Or for the guys, we have some guy sweatshirts too. So I'm going to remove this just so we can talk. So today the subject is, this is coming from a coma survivor. And Johnny, I've got to say that I am so proud of you for not giving up and pursuing this whole situation because what is a man or a woman without a reputation and in this case we are going to back you up buddy because you know what as far as i'm concerned this is what you can do with that situation brush it off johnny because it's all going to change for you and it's all been changing because you've got Millions of people that know the truth now. Yay! All right, so let's get into the coma survivor thing. Okay, so in the year 2009, I was in a coma for a month. And it was really difficult because um, they told my children that I wasn't going to survive. And every day while I was in the coma, and I will be writing a book about this called Meltdown to Magnificent. Um, you will see the link to my other book uh, down in the notes underneath the video. I'm just learning how to do all this. So, um, so what happened was my children would come to the hospital. And I remember uh, when my daughter was there every day, she would comb my hair and she would stroke my arm and she would just talk to me and tell me stories. And I remembered everything she told me while I was in the coma. Seriously, I remembered all of it. And I even, when I woke up from the coma, asked her if she had said this and done this. And the beautiful part about that, um, my son also, he would rub my feet and he would say, please, mommy, I'll see you more often. I love you, you know, things like this. So. I remember hearing my daughter's voice while I was on the other side, because I was also visiting my family on the other side, <laughs> and I was here. And I remember listening to my daughter's voice, and I remember um, this feeling that I had to come back. I had to come back. And I'm almost 70. I'm still here. Yay. So, so I came back. Uh, I woke up from the coma. And I can tell you, I am going to write about it, because... When a person's in a coma, we can hear you. We can, we can, we can feel and hear everything, truly. Well, I, I did anyway. And so um, this is a beautiful story because it inspired my daughter to become a nurse because of the care that I received. And it was just wonderful. It was just really wonderful the way I was taken care of uh, in the hospital. And uh, the funny part about it was um, after I woke up from the coma, I had a, a wonderful doctor. He was a little hottie. He was great. And he says to me, do you know, you know, what month this is? Do you know what day it is? And my response to him literally was, um, well, apparently I've been in this bed for a while and I hope I didn't miss Halloween. But what upsets me is that I can't have 
my little Puerto Rican high heels and tight jeans. And he just burst out laughing and knew that I was, I was okay. So that's what I wanted to tell you about the coma. And um, I'll probably write more about that, but um, I'm still plugging in there in the fight. Get your little sweatshirt. Oh, and don't forget, um, right underneath, there's a, also a link for a product called Ease. Why do I keep talking about Ease? Because when I went through menopause, that's when I started not sleeping at night, you know, and, and, and I was really stressed. And I would wake up two or three times a night. I would get severe cramps. I mean, I could barely make it uh, to, to uh, the restroom uh, w because of the cramps in my legs. I started using this Ease spray. It's wonderful. It's from Canada. I'll go get it. I'll be right back. So this is the spray. It's called Ease. And this is a miracle worker. The link is down there. You will sleep all night. It's basically just a spray on magnesium. And apparently magnesium seems to go into your skin better than if you, you know, took the vitamins. This really works. If you have any back pain or anything, you can spray this. My friend from work just recently told me that she loved it because her husband sprayed her back when she came home from work. Um, we're both chefs and her back didn't hurt. I mean, I didn't even realize that how good this is. I knew that, that it worked for me, uh, but I was hoping it would work for other people. So just so you know, the link is below. It will help you get really good quality sleep. Um, if you have leg cramps, if you have headaches, bam, this stuff works. The company has amazing products and they're really totally legit and pure. So I just wanna say thank you for all of you for uh, being on my channel. And don't forget to get your E's, yay. And don't forget to get your really cool Johnny Depp sweatshirt. You know, we have them for guys, we have them for, for kids. Oh, I forgot to tell you, um, I also designed uh, a little sweatshirt for uh, doggies and for cats that you can put your Johnny Depp on there. So when you walk down the street, they have that on their little knitted uh, little outfit that I designed. So that link is down there. So lots of love and thank you so much for being patient with me. I'm learning this uh, video thing and uh, onwards and upwards, right? Okay, thank you. Have a good night.